We will begin this session with a keynote address by Mr. Matthew Oman from GEO. May I request him to please come up on the stage, please? I still think it's good morning. Good morning, everybody. And, uh, you know, whenever I come here, it's extremely happy I am to be here. I hope all of you are happy because when you think about the world, the world is in transformation. Digital is in transformation. India is in transformation, folks. The transition. When we look at 2G, 3G, 4G, to me, it is a voice data consumer business, and that is the internet economy of connectivity. We, in the digital economy, it's an age of what I term as the connected intelligence where horizontal technologies are coming to the doorstep because so far we have had 2G, 3G, 4G that only do one thing. Horizontal technologies are coming which is 5G is a horizontal technology and we're going to talk about that. IoT is a horizontal technology. We're going to talk about that. We are going to talk about um, cloud native, blockchain, AIML has horizontal technologies. So when you look at the horizontal technologies, 5G is an overhyped term. 5G can only happen if the right amount of spectrum, with the right amount of bandwidth, with the right amount of transmission power is delivered in this country. We are deliberating and deliberating, I think, for a very long time. It is important between the regulatory, between DOT, with the telecom partners, with the industry, with COAI, we work together because I heard a very, very, what I call as a distressing story in terms of how 26 gigahertz, 28 gigahertz, and even 3.5 gigahertz is going to be managed. It is extremely important we work together as collaborative partners with the government, with DOT, and others to address it so that 5G becomes a reality. Otherwise, I think we may get pushed out and we do not want that ecosystem to be delayed. Now, indigenous 5G ecosystem, and I told you this earlier, Telecom 4.0 with 4G is closed, 3G is closed, but with 5G, there is an opportunity because it's open, the opportunity is there. I have heard many industrial stalwarts in India tell me it takes us billions of dollars to create the 5G ecosystem in India. If Chandrayaan can take hundreds of millions and not billions to get to the moon, let me assure you, because I am well versed in RAN and I can tell you with all the work that I have done to date, we can do this in tens and hundreds of millions of dollars, not in billions of dollars. And India can indeed be self-sufficient because we do not want to be reliant on a technology and security where we don't have the right of control in terms of IPR. And in the, in, the, in the 5G sufficiency, let me also, I've put a little technical slide, pardon me on it, but basically 5G is broken up into the central unit, actually the core network, the central unit, the distribution unit, and the uh, radio unit. And let me tell you, between each one of these units, there are open interfaces. What you see, in, in brown, yellow, red, whatever that I can't see because um, what is on the screen, I think it is orange, pink. That is hardware. The rest of it predominantly is software that can be run on cards. Even that hardware, we can create it. There is a methodology to do that in-house in tens of millions of dollars and not billions. Now, just a few quick pointers. Spectrum availability we talk about that spectrum needs to come at the right price, at the right amount, at the right time, at the right predictability. And the next one I want to talk about is fiber proliferation. There cannot be 5G without fiber because they go hand in hand. If you cannot have backhaul and you cannot have deep fiber with backhaul, we are just not doing the right thing in making 5G available. So it is not fiber or 5G, it is both need to go hand in hand, but 
there are areas from an FWA perspective that gives you the last of the last miles that you can leverage 5G. But otherwise, 5G and fiber is very important. I think for us, as we build the digital society, as we build the digital infrastructure, we have the accountability and to ethically and responsibly manage the advanced technology for the good of mankind, for peace, for prosperity, and above all, I will say, for managing and preserving this beautiful world and the land we live in. Thank you very much for having me here.